Hi there. In this video, we'll discuss a technique for finding antiderivatives um, known as U substitution. Um, just to keep in mind, we know there's a chain rule out there for derivatives. You could think of this as the unchain rule, okay, in the sense that we're um, looking at the chain rule backwards, if that makes sense. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and start trying to do this antiderivative problem. Um, one thing to notice here is that if you were to take the derivative of this expression, you'd get 3x squared, which is kind of similar to this term out here, except for it says 5x squared. But there is an x squared component. So for that reason, I'm going to go ahead and assign um, that quantity uh, to be the variable u. So u is x cubed plus 7. And just a comment before I go any further, um, the whole point of u substitution is that it just gives you um, a procedure to figure out what the correct antiderivative is um, without having to just be clever and do it in your head. All right, that's the whole point. Okay, so with that choice, we get the derivative of u is 3x squared, and so du should be 3x squared dx. Okay, um, so we'll want to play around with this expression until we see 3x squared dx and something involving the quantity u. Okay, here goes. So step two, we're just going to sort of like organize the terms here. Um, I'm going to keep this as it is. So x cubed plus 7 to the 10th power. And <clears throat> I want to look for x squared dx, which I have right here. So I've got the x squared. I'll just move it over to the right-hand side. I've got the dx. So I'll kind of cluster those together. And what I was really hoping to see based on what du is, is 3x squared dx, but unfortunately we don't have 3, we've got 5. So let's see if we can find a way to manage this problem. All right, first thing, uh, we'll pull 5 out in front of the integral. That's the constant multiple rule for integrals. And second thing, let's just go ahead and write in the thing that we want to see, which is 3x squared dx, and then deal with that action accordingly. How to deal with it is to multiply the integral by a third. All right, just a little background on that step if it feels weird. Uh, we have some quantity, which is an integral. We did three times that quantity, and then we did a third of that quantity, which really is just the quantity itself. Okay, so with that, um, I believe we're all set to do the u substitution. So step three, step two is getting things organized. And step three will actually perform the u substitution. Here goes. Um, a third of five is just five thirds. So let's write five thirds in front of the integral. And this quantity to the tenth is nothing but u to the tenth. That feels nice. And then the quantity over here, three x squared dx, is exactly what we called du. Okay, let me make some room here. We all just shrink things down so we can see everything. Okay. And the feeling you should be having is that this integral looks somewhat complicated. This one looks so much simpler and easier, which is the whole point of this. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and bring down the 5 thirds as a constant multiple. And now we'll use our basic antiderivative rules. The antiderivative of u to the 10th is u to the 11th power divided by 11, plus any constant. OK, and technically, I suppose I should multiply this whole quantity by 5 thirds. All right, step five. Let me go ahead and just simplify these fractions. Uh, in the denominator, we have 3 times 11, which gives 33. We'll keep 5 on top. And technically, I could distribute out the 5 thirds times c and write 5 thirds c. Um, but if you have a random constant, you're going to end up with a random constant. So we might as well just call it c. All right. Um, u has done its work. U's job is done. Let's send u home and bring x back into the picture. Again, I'll shrink this down so that we can see everything all at once. Whoops. 
Maybe I'll shrink the whole screen here. Wow. Oops, that's too much shrinking going on. Um, come on, Promethean, do what I need you to do here. There we go, that's better. Okay, again, we're going to send you home at this time and bring back X. U to the 11th power. U is just a stunt man. Now we're bringing in, bringing back the real actor. Okie doke. So what did U stand for again? It was X to the third power plus seven. So we'll go ahead and write that in. All right, if we've done everything correctly, then this should be the antiderivative of our, of our expression. However, we need not take it on faith. We can actually check that. And so I'm gonna take two more minutes and show that this answer is actually correct. This, by the way, is things where things really click and make sense, is when you go to check the process and make sure that it works as intended. Okay, so if we've done everything right, we should end up with this expression right here. And let's see if we do. Okay, let me just clean up my workspace. All right, so we're hoping to see 5x squared times x to the third plus 10. All right, this should be the derivative, assuming we've done our work right. Okay, so let's go ahead and start checking that. If this is the original function, then we hope this is its derivative. All right, here goes. Basic derivative rules coming into play. Chain rule coming into play. Constant multiple rule. Keep the constant and multiply by the derivative. Um, some expression to the power of 11 becomes 11 expression to the 10. Bring down the expression and multiply by the derivative of the expression, 3x squared. The constant term has derivative of 0. All right, now time to get organized. Let's shrink down and keep rolling. Okay, I'm going to bring together all my constants, 5 over 33, whoops, I was thinking ahead there, 5 over 33, times 11, another constant, times 3, another constant, and then I'll put everything else to the right of the constants. Okie doke, next step, a little bit of space there. Um, let's now combine the constants into a single constant. Uh-oh, 11 times 3 is 33. Divide out 33, you get nothing. You get 1, I should say. So that leaves us with 5 times this expression to the 10th power times x squared. And when we go to compare, we have, let's just like check this off here. We've got 5x squared, 5x squared. Expression to the 10th, expression to the 10th. We got the correct derivative, so our antiderivative is correct, and U substitution um, achieves a victory. I hope this video is helpful to you in mastering this technique, and we'll see you next time.